हेलो एवरी वन वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ द चैप्टर क्लास ट्वेल्थ बायोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड इम्प्लेंटेशन प्रेगनेंसी एंड एम्ब्रियनिक डेवलपमेंट पार्चुरेशन एंड लैक्टेशन लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड इम्प्लेंटेशन What is fertilization? It is the fusion of male gamete with the female gamete, and these male gametes or the sperms in human beings have to enter into the female genital tract, and the process of transfer of sperms in female genital tract is called as insemination. What happens during copulation? During copulation, semen is released by the penis into the vagina, and see the diagram here. many sperms are moving from the vagina towards the uterine cavity now see the ray diagram sperms moving towards vagina then to cervical canal then to uterus then to isthmus of the fallopian tube and then to ampullary region at the same time ovary released ovum and the ovum moves towards fimbria then to infundibulum then to ampulla and then to ampullary region see the labeling number 1 this is the ampullary isthmic junction and here the fusion of sperm with the ovum takes place or the fertilization take place so fertilization occurs in ampullary region of fallopian tube fertilization happens only if ovum and sperm are transported simultaneously to the ampullary isthmic junction so all copulations do not lead to fertilization and pregnancy now what happens when the sperm come in contact with the zona pellucida see the diagram this is the diagram of ovum having zona pellucida and there are sperms 1 2 3 4 four sperms are shown when one sperm come in contact with the zona pellucida what happens it induces changes in the membrane membrane mein changes aa jate hain and that changes block the entry of other sperms additional sperms now they cannot enter into the ovum only one sperm can enter into the ovum okay and the secretions of acrosome which is present on the sperm help sperm to enter the egg cytoplasm so the sperm enter into egg cytoplasm passing through zona pellucida and plasma membrane what happens next this cause second meiotic division see the diagram upper diagram dekhiye second meiotic division show kiya gaya hai and as a result secondary oocyte change ho jata hai into ovum or uter and second polar body is formed what happens after this the haploid nuclei of sperm and ovum they fuse together and form diploid zygote to a number zygote okay see this diagram yahan par fertilized egg dikhaya gaya hai zygote is there zygote now undergoes mitotic division or you can say cleavage and when this mitotic division is taking place in the zygote at the same time zygote is also moving from isthmus to the uterus and different cell stages dekhiye kon kon si hain two cell stages there four cell stages there eight cell stages there 16 cell stages there these cells are called as blastomeres and the embryo with 8 to 16 blastomere is called as morula morula now continues to divide and changes into blastocyst this is a diagram of blastocyst diagram number 1 dekhiye in blastocyst what is there in blastocyst the blastomeres are arranged into an outer layer see the diagram labeling b this outer layer is called as trophoblast and there is also an inner cell mass labeling a and you can see the labeling c also this is the cavity blastocyst cavity or you can say blastoc the trophoblast layer gives nourishment to inner cell mass what is the role of this trophoblast it gives nourishment to inner cell mass and also 
it gets attached to endometrium of the uterus uterus ke endometrium se attach hone mein bhi help karta hai now come to inner cell mass the inner cell mass gets differentiated into three layers three layers mein ye differentiate ho jata hai kaun si three layers hain x y z ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm and this three layered structure or gastrula this form the embryo you can see the diagram here starting from a to g fallopian tube mein movement dikhaya gaya hai a dekhi unfertilized ovum hai then b mein fertilization is taking place c after fertilization zygote starts dividing mitotically two cell stage hai d is four cell stage e is eight blastomere stage and f is having 12 to 16 blastomere or it you can say it is a morula morula then transform into blastocyst which get embedded into the endometrium of the uterus on the 6th day after fertilization after attachment what happens uterine cell divide rapidly and cover the blastocyst blastocyst ko cover kar lete hain uterine cells see the diagram 2 endometrium grows over and surround the embryo as a result the blastocyst becomes embedded in the endometrium and this is called as implantation okay so implantation takes place at the blastocyst stage see this diagram different days are shown here starting from the ovum near the ovary you can see fertilization taking place day 1 is two cell stage day 2 is four cell stage day 3 is morula day 5 is blastocyst and on the day 6 after fertilization what happens this blastocyst is embedded in the endometrium of the uterus or implantation take place come to pregnancy and embryonic development after implantation what happens finger like projections you can see the diagram yellow color ke arrow se show kiya gaya hai finger like projection they are called as chorionic villi they appear on trophoblast of the fetus of the embryo okay they are surrounded by uterine tissue and maternal blood chorionic villi are surrounded by uterine tissue and maternal blood remember this then the chorionic villi and uterine tissue they together they form the placenta so what is placenta placenta is the structural and functional unit between embryo or fetus and maternal body clear next placenta is connected to embryo by an umbilical cord see the diagram labeling number 1 is placenta and labeling number 2 is umbilical cord okay so placenta is connected to embryo by an umbilical cord it transports substances to and from the embryo now what are the functions of placenta first it acts as a barrier between fetus and the mother second oxygen and nutrient ko supply karta hai from mother to fetus carbon dioxide and excretory waste ko remove karta hai from fetus and also fourth point dekhiye it acts as an endocrine gland kaun se hormone secret karta hai it secretes human chorionic gonadotropin human placental lactogen estrogens progesterone and relaxin relaxin is also secreted by ovary during pregnancy estrogen progesterones cortisol prolactin thyroxin etc are also increased in maternal blood in sabhi hormones ka level bhi badh jata hai maternal blood mein and they support the fetal growth metabolic changes in the mother and maintain pregnancy next 
द जर्म लेयर्स कौन सी हैं जर्म लेयर्स एक्टोडम मिजोडम एंड एंडोडम द जर्म लेयर्स गिव राइज टू ऑल टिश्यू जितने भी ऑर्गेन्स हैं अब सब एक्टोडम मिजोडम और एंडोडम से बनेंगे द स्टेम सेल्स इन द इनर सेल मास इनर सेल मास में जो सेल्स हैं द स्टेम सेल्स दे हैव द पोटेंसी टू गिव राइज टू ऑल द टिश्यूज एंड ऑर्गेन्स ह्यूमन प्रेगनेंसी और यू कैन से गेस्टेशन पीरियड लास्ट फॉर नाइन मंथ्स एंड फॉर कैट्स इट इज टू मंथ्स फॉर डॉग्स इट इज टू मंथ्स एंड फॉर एलिफेंट्स इट इज ट्वेंटी वन मंथ्स Now see the changes in the embryo during development. After one month, heart is formed. End of second month, limbs and digits are developed. End of twelve weeks, or you can say first trimester, major organs, limbs, external genitalia organs, etc., are well developed. And during fifth month, first movement of the fetus. and appearance of hair on the head is there end of 24 weeks this is called second trimester body is covered with fine hair eyelids separate and eyelashes are formed and and the end of 9 months ready for delivery come to parturition and lactation process of giving birth to young ones is called parturition and it is induced by neuroendocrine mechanism first signal kahan se aata hai the signal from the fetus and the placenta induce mild uterine contraction this is called as fetal ejection reflex and this causes the release of oxytocin from the maternal pituitary maternal pituitary start producing oxytocin when there is fetal ejection reflex then what happens after the release of oxytocin oxytocin causes strong uterine muscle contraction which in turn stimulate further secretion of oxytocin and this process is continued leading to expulsion of baby out of the uterus through the birth canal after parturition the umbilical cord is cut off the placenta and remnants of umbilical cord are expelled from the maternal body after parturition and this is called as after birth come to lactation the mammary glands produce milk towards the end of pregnancy and this is called as lactation the yellowish milk produced during the initial few days of lactation is called as colostrum which contains several antibodies which are essential to develop resistance for newborn babies so that's all about the chapter thank you very much for staying with me do the test given in the description box in the form of mcqs subscribe the channel to get the information about my new video thank you thank you very much